gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Yes, Deb Chanel's 48th World Where we do just about everything on reviews, okay? But I majorly get out there and do reviews on the Real Housewives of Atlanta As well as Meritum Medicine and I do cover a little bit of other entertainment celebrity news that you can use that I feel I want to cover. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday afternoon. Hopefully you set your clocks back and all that good stuff so you won't be late when it's time to go to work on Monday morning. So let's get on into our polling results. Yes, we have the polling results from, what is it? October 27th through November 2nd. Let's get on into it. The first polling question was, if you were, if it were plausible or possible, would you like to see Phaedra Parks reinstated back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a full-time peach holder? You guys said yes, 60% of you all, while 37% of you all said no. The next polling question was, do you think who do you think would be the better woman of shade throwing on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta if Phaedra Parks was brought back? And along in the mix was Sheree Whitfield as well. 50% of you all said Phaedra Parks, while 33% of you all said Kenya Moore, and 11% said Nene Leakes, 2% said uh, Sheree Whitfield, and 3% said Portia Williams, okay? So y'all really thought Phaedra Kenya Moore and Nene could throw that shade, but especially Phaedra Parks, who is no longer with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But that was a cute thing to know. The next following question was, do you think Candy Burr should be making money profiting from an idea that she stated could have done severe damage to her brand, tarnished both her livelihood and reputation, and ruined her name as being seen as a good citizen in her community and in the eyes of business relationships uh, current as well as future. She has developed and the development of future ones, okay? Uh, overwhelming, uh, overwhelming amount said yes by providing 52%. 33 said no, and 15% were undecided. The next polling question was, are you uh, ready to see Kenya Moore to make her uh, return back debut on The Real House of Wives of Atlanta today? which is uh, today, Sunday, November the 3rd. 55% of you all said yes, while 39% of you all said no. And 6% unde said undecided. Next, <coughs> excuse me, the next polling question was, Prince Harry will give up, do you think Prince Harry will give up his royal life just to make his wife, Meghan Markle, happy so she can live a uh, more unwanted watch type of lifestyle? Uh, that being... You know, that being a royal, it brings that scrutiny. 63% uh, of you said, no, Harry ain't giving up nothing. She's just going to have to deal with it. And 37% of you all said, yeah, he would say goodbye to all of it just to make her happy. The next polling question was, do you think this newfound mother-baby relationship between Portia and Kenya has found the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta will last the test of time? Meaning they build a solid relationship through the children and they will remain uh, friends and confidants, 68% of you all said no. <laughs> Why, 32% of you all said yes. It may just be a PR stunt. Then again, maybe they are trying to uh, form a relationship between the two of them, a bond where their children can uh, grow up together and they can have many, 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 many more play dates to come. I don't know. I kind of was feeling like it's a PR stunt. But if they can find friendship along with their motherhood ship go for it why not okay go for it be great be blessings towards you and your children all right the next polling question was do you think cynthia bailey needs to mind her own business when uh well mind her own business instead of making or speaking on kenya and mark's marital uh situations on social media 84 percent of you all said yes she needs to mind her own business while 16 percent of you all said no she don't need to mind her business okay the next following question was there is much speculation in social media today which is uh 10 30 20 2019 about kenya moore and mark date and maybe getting back together do you believe it or not 
20% of you all said, yes, I believe it, while 30% said, no, I don't believe it, and 50% said, maybe it's a PR stunt just to drive ratings up for the new season. I personally thought it was a PR stunt. Um, there was no marriage involved to be getting divorced uh, behind, okay? The next following question was, do you think Mark wants out of this marriage with uh, Kenya Moore? And he just wants to move on with his life without Kenya Moore romantically. 77% uh, said yes, he just wants to move on with his life. While 23% of you all said no, he wants to make it work. Okay. The next polling question was, Nitty Leak says she wants the other bullies exposed on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reality show. Who could she be referring to? 8% said Candy Burris. 4% said Portia Williams, 11% said Eva Marcel, 12% said Cynthia Bailey, and an overwhelming 66% 66% said Kenya Moore. Okay, next polling question was Nene Leakes is, uh, is expressing on social media that no one should be asking for favors or help without uh, women. Nene Leakes is expressing on social media that no one shouldn't ask for favors or help with anything unless they really need it. The hell. Do you agree with Nene Leakes on that comment? 90% uh, of you all said I definitely can't agree with her on that statement, while 10% said no, I can't agree with her on that statement. And the last and final polling question was, do you think that was a setup written in script to have Dennis McKinley mistress sincerely wore to show up at candy's and todd's restaurant olg old lady game to come out to candy and friends that she is the mistress that uh social media is running rapidly talking about uh and coming in between portia williams and Den dennis mckinley's relationship uh 93 percent of you all said yes that was a setup scene scripted out for us to partake in <laughs> while seven percent of y'all said no that happened organically or that was just destined to happen she just had this epiphany to go and in, into um candy burris establishment <laughs> and whoa lo and behold they were filming that day and the the stars and the uh moon and the Sun was all in alignment that brought them together so she can break out and tell Candy, hey, Candy, I really don't know you in this down and third, but I'm just here to tell you that I am sincerely mistress. Well, I am sincerely ward, the mistress of Dennis McKinley and uh, Portia's <laughs> uh, bad negative things they're going through is because of me. Now, nah, that was a plain scripted scene on my behalf. But I'd like to thank all of you all for your continued support, your new support, and the support of these polling questions. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to go. Like and share my videos out there in the uh, social media world, the cyber world. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel for more for more must-see videos and go over there each week. I have new polling questions starting today that you can take all through the week at your leisure. So continue to communicate, express your thoughts, and definitely interact with one another because I love it. I know y'all love it. We love it together. Remember, it's a family affair. All right, guys, y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you sometime today for more upcoming videos. And if you haven't, uh, you've forgotten about it with this time change, you're supposed to be falling back, so set your clocks. Uh, and definitely watch Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine today, November 3rd, but especially Real Housewives of Atlanta because they're blasting off with their first episode for season 12. And we know you all want to be there. I'm going to be there, God willing. I'm taking my notes and coming back on the tube, reporting it to you all on my perspective, how I saw it got down. But y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.